Well, you know, you told me that this was going to be a two-minute video, and I could spend the whole two minutes telling you about our uh, nine well-above-average grandchildren, our three extraordinary uh, children and their spouses, and my perfect husband, but I, I won't do that. Uh, I won't go that way. I accepted uh, the position of honor honorary chair when Michelle asked me uh, to, to do that, uh, partially, frankly, to give back to the Women's Fund in a very small way for everything that they've done for us in this community. They have um, really inspired, I think, uh, women and girls. They've identified uh, areas that needed to be addressed. They've educated us about, about issues. They've invested in women and girls, $4.5 million over the last 25 years. And they've done practical research and then had practical actions that came out of that as, as a result. They've tackled tough issues that other people might have shied away from. You, you asked me uh, about dreaming big, about it, it, the issues of women and girls, and I guess an important thing is that I hope that over the next 25 years that the Women's Fund does exponentially more of what they're already doing, because as a result, women are supporting women and helping women more. Men and women are both learning and have learned how important coaching, mentoring, and promoting women in their businesses is. The advice that I'd give to my, to my granddaughters at this point would be to pretty much the same advice I think I got from my own mom and dad a, a long time ago. And that was to find what you enjoy doing and then, and then do it. But don't think that you have to do everything all at the same time. And finally, to really believe and recognize that every individual can and does make a difference. I'm honored to be a chair of this event. I respect the work that the Women's Fund does because they're not about just highlighting girls and women in our community who have beaten the odds. They're about changing the odds for all girls and women. That is very big, important work. The work of the Women's Fund is critically important to the well-being of our community. The Women's Fund raises awareness about issues that are very difficult to talk about. Domestic violence, the underrepresentation of women in corporations and on nonprofit boards. And so the Women's Fund doesn't allow us the luxury of burying our heads in the sand. And not only does it raise awareness, but on top of that, it funds programs that help address some of the issues and challenges we face in our community. I have a 15-year-old daughter. And my dream would be that when she finishes high school and her college career, she looks all around this country and she says, Omaha is the place where I'm going to have the most opportunity to give back and the most opportunity to grow in my career and develop, that this is going to be the very best place for her. But my dream is bigger than that because the real success comes when every single girl in our community can say that. They can look at Omaha and say, I don't want to go anywhere else. The mission of the Mutual of Omaha Foundation is to break the cycle of poverty. And all the research shows that when you help women become self-sufficient, families do better, and hence the community does better. That's why Mutual of Omaha supports the Women's Fund. The quote that I live my life by is, the greatest good you can do for others is not to share your treasures with them, but to reveal to them their own. And I firmly believe that the Women's Fund reveals the treasures of the girls and women in our community so that they can be the best they can be and reach their full potential. That's why I love the organization.